there. Okay, so we are filming on my camera today, so hopefully the quality is a little bit better. I don't know. But you know, I don't care. This is what we're doing. I was filming with my phone over at the window like normal, but the sun decided it was done with me for the day, so now we're here. I Today I really wanted to do a fall tag. Well, I wanted to do a tag, and I was looking through the ones that I wanted to do, the ones I've been watching recently, and you know, I'm a white woman, so naturally I want to talk about fall because that's what we all do, right? So that's what I'm going to do today. That's going to be my very first one. We're going to go with it. Thank you for being here. Let's get into it. So with the fall tag, I'm going to put everything that's like included down below. But the first thing on there is your favorite candle. My favorite candle is a kind of a surprise to me because I was not expecting it to be my favorite candle because it's not I don't I'm sorry I got distracted by something on my table I didn't expect it to be my favorite candle because it's not a scent that I usually go for I don't really like vanilla scents or like pumpkin spice scents it's not pumpkin spice but it's vanilla it is vanilla sandalwood by Mystic Harbor I don't know where Mystic Harbor is sold I doubt it's a very expensive brand but this smells so good. This is a leftover from when my stepdad's girlfriend used to live here. She just left it here and I was like, well, you know, I'll give it a shot. It kind of smells good. Girl, it smells way better than kind of good. It's amazing. I can burn it in my room, which is in the back of the apartment, and just fill the entire apartment with this scent. And it's such a good scent. It's like crack. Well, I mean, it's probably not like crack because I sniff it. It doesn't snort it. Anyway, that's cocaine. I know my drugs. I do. What? It smells really good. That's all I'm saying. If you can find it and you like vanilla scents, get it. It's so good. I need to find, like, I need to find where it sells it just because look how weird it's burning. It's almost gone, but it's all like got all this wax on the inside. So number one, I'm going to have to use Pinterest to figure out how to get all of this wax off. And then I'm going to have to buy it somewhere because I'm going to can only probably get one more candle out of this. And then I have to buy another one, which is so sad, but it's so good. I do not mind. I really do not. <laughs> the next thing, I'm so sorry that I'm like wiggling. My chair has no back to it because it's also a hand-me-down from my husband when he broke the back off of his office chair. I just took the entire back off and, well, he broke the arm. I just took the entire back off and I use it at my desk because it works. So, you know, I'm sitting crisscross applesauce like a little kid right now in it. Anyway, so the next thing is my favorite lip color. My favorite lip color, hands down, in the fall time is this, which is called Sweet Grape by Milani and it smells just like its name. It is so good. So good. Now, this is the older packaging. You might not recognize it because of how old it is. I got this probably like a year or two ago and I bought it at the Dollar Tree because I think what happens with drugstore brands, well, at least some of them, because I haven't seen all of them there, but I've seen where they're, they come out with those special collections and if the entire collection doesn't sell, I'll see the things at the Dollar Tree. Like I've bought color tattoos from there. I've bought nail polishes. I have so many Revlon nail polishes because I bought them for a dollar. I like all of the colors. I didn't buy them just because they were for a dollar. I genuinely like all of the colors, but, and I'm kind of a nail addict, but I was like a dollar. Are you kidding me? This is like $9 in store. I'm just, I'm saving so much money. Oh my God. Just, you know, cheap orgasm. So back to this, this is like a really pretty, it's a really pretty grape color, just like it says. And I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up because the camera won't focus on it. Let's see, is it there? I don't know. It's got gold reflex in it, man. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I would have wore it today, but I didn't. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> um, I love anything that reflects gold. God. And kind of like my favorite fall blush, which is also on the list in the tag, is this, which is by Wet n Wild. It's Berry Shimmer, which if you watch YouTube, you know that people like Wet n Wild. Almost all YouTubers that I've seen like Wet n Wild. That's because it's good. 
it's good and it's cheap. This is like what, $1.99? I don't even know, but it's really pretty. It's essentially like really close to the lip color. It's like a nice berry color with gold reflex to it. And it's so pretty. I am not left-handed. I am showing you these things on my right hand because my left hand is full of shame from when I first tried to film these videos over by the window. So we're just gonna go with it. So there's this color and I just swiped it one time and then one and done, man, one and done. Look how pretty it is. And then it blends out really nicely too. I'm super pale. So when I put it on, I use a much lighter hand because I have it on actually right now, which I'm not sure if you can tell, but I love it. So there's that. And it's so cheap and it's so good. Please don't get rid of this white and wild. Please don't. Because I feel like every time I get onto something that I love so much and that seems pretty popular because I see it all over the internet, it goes away. I don't know why, but it does. It's heartbreaking. It's just heartbreaking. Like I know I'm never gonna find another one of these. I know I will never see this exact shade unless they have it. Do they have it? I'm gonna look next time. I love Milani, I'm gonna look. I need a backup, I'm just saying. So the next favorite fall thing is my drink. Um, I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I don't like lattes, I don't like Starbucks. If I'm going to drink coffee, it's going to be from a local coffee shop. There are so many little local coffee shops that are adorable and more creative than Starbucks and Starbucks is the devil. But I digress, I digress. So my favorite fall scent has to be apple cider. I specifically, I love the apple cider, the, the fresh apple cider that you get from apple orchards. I can remember going to the apple orchard when I was in elementary school as like our field trip to like Weber's farm. If you're from Maryland, you probably know what that is. But I remember going there, I think it's in PA though. I don't know. I remember going to a farm with my school. They made fresh apple cider on site. Are you kidding me? I, I almost wanted to own an apple orchard when I went up, when I grew up. Ah, my voice is going. I'm so sorry. But it's so good. Like, it's so good. I'm, I'm okay with the kinds that they sell in stores because personally I do prefer it cold. I'm not really big on warm drinks, like, at all. So, like, like lukewarm? No. Flashbacks. PTSD? No. Uh-uh. So, I either like them to be hot or cold. There's no in-between with me. Do not give me, unless it's water, don't give me something that's room temperature. That's disgusting. It's also why I don't really like red wine, though I will drink it. Let's be real. Anyway, moving on. The next thing on the tag is going to be a favorite piece of clothing for the fall. It's not really a piece of clothing so much as it is a scarf. We all know I love scarves, so here's my favorite one to wear in the fall. It's this big, like it's gigantic. And I'm a large person. I'm a large person, let's be real. It's so big, it's so big. I love it. It's by Perry Ellis. It has these really pretty, really pretty feathers on it. I got it at the thrift store. You know, I wasn't gonna buy this brand new in store, but I love it. I just love the shade of like burgundy and blue. It's coming up brighter on the camera. It's like a, like a not really navy blue on this black background. It's amazing, it's my favorite one. So I just like, I would wrap it around my neck, pretend like I'm a bandit. This is Cowboys and Indians. It's pretty, it's whatever. I love it. Sorry, not sorry. I love it. The next thing is your favorite fall movie. My favorite fall movie. I could easily go with Hocus Pocus or Practical Magic, but these are really my favorite all time movies. I will watch this movie whenever it comes on. I found the list of how many times this is gonna come on uh, ABC Family this month in October. And I gotta tell you, I'll probably watch it with everyone. I own it on DVD. I will still probably watch it on television. Me and my sister love this movie. Sorry, there's a glare. But me and my sister love this movie. I know every single word. I'm that person. I love it. It's my favorite, probably my favorite movie of all time. So I can't really go into the fall section 
because I love it that much. And same with Practical Magic. While it's not like my absolute favorite because I love you, Bette Midler, if you're watching. <laughs> if you ever hear about this, I love you. But Practical Magic is really good. It's a really good too, but it's a movie that I like to watch all year long because there's a little witch in every woman. I love this movie. So what would be my favorite fall movie then? It would have to be Halloween Town. I love Love, love, love Halloween Town. I wait until October 1st for Halloween, to come, Halloween Town to come up on uh, On Demand because I have, I have Comcast. Because my I, I have Comcast. I wait for it. I've already watched it. Today is, what's today? Today's the 8th. Yeah, today's the 8th. I watched Halloween Town yesterday or the day before. I think yesterday. I have to watch it. I have to watch this. It just, I, I love it. I love it. I get so sad November 2nd when they're gone because Disney Channel original movies, like the older ones, so good. It's kind of bad, but it's so good. And I only watch it around Halloween because that's when I like it. I don't know. I just get in the mood. Like I need Debbie Reynolds running around. It's perfect. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's that. Um, my favorite fall TV show would be Grimm. I love Grimm. I love Grimm so much you have no idea uh, i actually get my my husband to watch it with me but it's like my favorite this is my pretty much my favorite tv show i feel like there's no like favorite fall tv show because most shows premiere in the fall so it's kind of like you have to choose one from all of them i love grim i also love elementary i also have hopes for American Horror Story Hotel, which I have not watched the first episode yet. I will watch it. It is on on demand. I will get to it. But like, there's, you have to choose from all of the TV shows, all of them that are on right now, every single one, because they all premiere in the fall for the most part. It's ridiculous. But Grimm, I love Grimm. I love Grimm. Did I say that I love Grimm? Should I like say that again? Because I do. I really do. <laughs> um, and then, so... Let's see what's next. What's next is Thanksgiving food. My favorite Thanksgiving food is pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. I, I know that I said I hate things that are pumpkin spice. I really don't. I love pumpkin pie. And I think the reason I don't like pumpkin spice lattes or, you know, candles or whatever is because if I smell pumpkin pie, if I taste pumpkin pie, I want to be eating pumpkin pie. I better be eating pumpkin pie. So... I just, I love it that much. Oh, oh, I also love chocolate pudding pie. It's like, like a French silk kind of pie. My husband's grandmother makes it. It's so good. It's literally like graham cracker crust, chocolate pudding, whipped cream. That's it. It's so simple. So delicious. I love it. I love it. Graham, that shit is so good. And I never even knew about it before I got with my husband. And it's so good because my mom didn't like it. So we weren't exposed to it. It's chocolate. It's pudding. It's pie where could you go wrong there? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. So finally, your favorite fall thing, of course, has to do with Halloween. And my, the Halloween costume that I usually am, the thing that I usually choose to be is a witch, just because, you know, I like witches. I like that kind of stuff. Um, last year, I was like a failed drag queen, which by that, I mean, I just like did my makeup like normal and um wore this really gaudy dress like just sequins everywhere i love it it's like beaded and sequined everywhere did i mention everywhere and it has these shoulder pads and like a little slit i wore it last year i loved it that's probably oh did you hear that that's why the sun went away that's a thunderstorm i don't have waterproof mascara on looks like I'm not going anywhere tonight. Anyway, so back to that. That was probably my favorite one in recent years, though I was Wilma Flintstone one year, which my, my fake mom made me that dress. It was perfect. She made me the dress and the little necklace. It was so good. I loved it so much. I loved it so much. Thanks, mama. Thanks, mama Bernice. Anyway, so that's the fall tag. I'd like to see what everybody else likes. I like to get to know people. I feel like that's what tags are for. Even if no one's paying attention, it's whatever. It's still fun. So do it. I will list the things down below. You do it. We'll be friends. I'll watch your video. Get it done. Okay? Okay. So, oh, my hand. So I now I have to figure out how to turn this off. Well, here goes.